Hi guys, this is Poet Spice Jam and Lola Tulula, and I'm here to bring you a coloring video. I'm using the Alta New Exotic Garden, and you can see here the stamp. And I colored the whole thing up. And now I'm going to show you another way to use your stamps is to cut them apart. So there's four separate flowers in here. So I'm going to cut them apart, and I'm only going to color three of the options. So you see them here. I'm using my Ohuhu markers. I love them and I will have a link below for the affiliate link. I'm using these colors for each one. So the 29, the 151, and the 153. We'll go for another flower. We've got the 16, the 10, and the three. I love those colors. The 183, the 182, and I believe the 41 to do the foliage. The Y6, the YG6 and 7 are going to be used to darken the other colors. So here we're going to start with this flower. And we're going to go with our blues. Now I tried to leave the caps in so that you could see them. And basically I'm putting in that color. And I've started lightest to dark. Now, sometimes I leave the white where I want highlights and sometimes I don't. It's always just a preference at the time. Now with water or uh, with alcohol markers, this, the technique is actually very simple. You can either go from light to dark or dark to light, and then you go over your strokes to get the blends. And then once you do that, if you want to darken it up, you can just go back with your darkest color and add more depth, which is what I'm doing here between the leaves. I should say petals. And then you can go back and use your lighter colors to go back over in circular motion to blend. So we're going to do the same thing with the second flower. I'm starting with the 29, which is the lightest color. And since this is a lily and it has lighter pieces and darker pieces, I'm just going to go back and forth between using those colors to get the color that I want. So we're pretty much doing an almost all over with the light color. Then move to the second color to add depth. I don't know about you, but coloring just totally relaxes me. Then I start to zone out. So fabulous. All right, now I'm switching to the darker color. I'm going to use it to edge and add depth to the, the petals. And you use that as well to push things back and forward so if something is behind another thing then you want it to be darker where the two overlap okay. so I ended up pulling out another color because I wanted to have an even darker center And so I'm using that to color in the stripes for the lily. Now you can see I changed to the chisel tip and I'm going back over with a lighter color to blend it all together. Now the one thing that is good about 
alcohol markers is that they are pretty much transparent so you can add the colors over the other colors and it will still show through which helps when I was doing the stamens for the previous flower so now we're just doing the all over color and I have to say I absolutely love these colors for this rose then I'm going back and doing the same thing. I'm taking a darker color, going over any areas where I would want it to be darker or where an item overlaps. So here at the top of the rows, the petals are smaller and they're gonna be further behind. So more of that gets colored dark. And then same thing as you come around to the bottom. The bottom's gonna have more shadow, so then you can put in heavier darks. And after two shades, you can really see how much difference there is, how much three dimension comes. Then once you add the third color, woo! Love it. So you can see here how that just went so much deeper. Then we're going back to a lighter color to use to blend things out. So now you have all three of them sitting together and you can see some pieces I left white, others I didn't. And now we're gonna go ahead and start with the leaves. Here the same is the same principle applies. I'm using an all over color this time. And then when we go in the next color, anywhere that would be underneath is going to be darker. The veins are typically darker. Now I'm using a third color to make it even more dimensional. So since the leaves are gonna be underneath the rose, they're gonna be even darker at the top of the leaf. And then you would do the same thing for any of the leaves that you want to go behind each other. Now this is what I was talking about with the YGs. Gray doesn't seem like it's gonna work, right? But when we go back over the color with the gray, it deepens the tone. So now you can see the difference between the three colors without the gray and then when you add the gray. Which is a fabulous way to get even more depth when you don't have an even darker green or whatever color you're using. So now I'm going to use the same one back into the rose, and you would think, oh, well, that doesn't look right gray. But see how it changes the color of the red? And so now you get that deeper richness of that last set of colors. And the same thing applies is that you can go back over it with the lighter color red or in the leaves the lighter color green it doesn't matter look how gorgeous that is when you add the extra gray now you can see the whole piece that i had done previously where i use the same techniques but they're all one piece so thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. If you would like to see additional coloring, you can let me know as well. And I have this image from the Not Too Shabby Shop, so you can go over and check that out. I also have a card tutorial, or not a tutorial, but I also have a card, and then I'll have another video in a couple weeks. So thanks for watching, and I shall see you later.